I could I go first? Take some pictures first for Instagram. Hey Origami Wizard, thanks for joining. Hey Origami Help Desk. Hey Tail. Thank you so much. Oh god, I need I should I clean my screen first? Not the tablet. Back to try it So if it's zooming in, <laughs> just give it a wipe. Yeah, it made it worse. There. Not bad idea. So I'll start in 10 minutes. I'll just need to do some things first. I'll start in the next 10 minutes for those that are watching. That gives time for people to get their paper back, uh, paper ready for where they left off in part one. So give me a few minutes, oh, 10 minutes. If someone can comment below saying fearless will start in 10 minutes, that would be much appreciated. Hey Sim, thanks for joining. Welcome back. Um, right there. I'll be starting in 10 minutes for those that just joined. I am live. So story. <coughs> uh, what else? Hey, the uh, CP for the flying lizard that I sent. Yep, uh, the one on Twitter. Are oh, you changing it? Hey, hey Paulus, thanks for joining. Uh, don't have the time to watch the stream, unfortunately. Anyways, good luck. Well, that's alright, Paulus. Uh, the stream will be up on YouTube anyway, once it finishes. But thanks for taking your time to comment. So, wait right there. Um, <coughs> where else do I need to post? That's actually there. Yeah, I need to watch the stream on the tablet. Alright, so there's like a one second delay on that, that's good. That might take a week what to change it, the crease pattern. Or well, you're probably you must have done big improvements. Alright, um, well 
I've already got it pre-creased anyway, so I could even just do that version. And then just, I'm not sure what to do with the next one. Couldn't find it where I left off from in the stream. 43. So hopefully we should get it all collapsed in this part. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Because it saves me reading it all again. Let's try it. Good position. I can actually bring it down. I don't think I need to go all the way up. Right, I'll just start there now then. So this is where we left off in part one. Maybe is that too close? So you should have this. Right, so now what we want to do is, got my wee tool handy this time, make a valley fold, this crease, and then a mountain fold on this one. Like that. I'll zoom out a wee bit. Oh, so you're just getting rid of the inefficient problems. Well, that's good. At least it's a, it's an improvement and an improvement. To what you had before. Yeah, I'm, I might as well. I don't want to wait too long anyway. I mean, it's already been. Well, Nearly ten minutes. And I'll stay up on YouTube anyway, so... People don't need to rush to be part of it when it's live. Yeah, more will join anyway. That's how it normally always works. So, once you've done that, then just make a mountain fold. Basically collapse the board base. So mountain fold, mountain, and mountain fold. Then just fold it flat over. I really can't wait to see how this model turns out with this paper. I'm looking forward to it. Like that. Number forty seven. There we go. And then just fold this flat down. And now we're going to unsync this part. So basically we've got an overlap here. We want to pull out this part 
so it ends up looking like this. In fact, let me close the curtains so the sunlight affects it. Thanks for joining everyone. If you're new, then we've just started the first few steps, so you've not missed much. Right, where am I? So, hey Teo, uh, so you're, I am ready. Do you want me to go back to the start? It's only a few steps. In fact, I'll do that actually. There we are. So this is where we started off with. Oh, I mean, where we finished in part in part one. So make sure you're in this position. Oh no, what happened to my tablet? Just turned off from YouTube. What happened there? That's weird. No, it's not loading. Trapped. Oh, there we go, it's back. Right, we're back. How much difference behind? No, we're fine. That was weird. Hey, Bodo, thanks for joining. So, we'll just continue. So fold this up, push this part in, and then fold over. I've already showed this part at the very start, so I'm just doing it a bit quickly to catch up. My tablet froze for some reason, then it went off the stream. And then just fold down. So now we're going to unsync this part. So lift this up, grab this part right here, and then just pull. Then open out from underneath. So we have this. So this shape is the same as this one here. So then just make the mountain folds on these sides and then collapse it like we just did This paper is to reverse fold. So, like that. And then just collapse it again as normal. So, now we have this. So now we've unsunk this part, this flat, right here, that was tucked inside here. Now we want to do the exact same, fold this flap over, and do the exact same in here. So again, pull out this paper. And then remake the mountain folds.
and then the same turn here. So you have the shape. And then it folds flat. And then flip the back over. So now we have this. So we've unsunk both flaps that were that were hidden and tucked inside these parts. And then fold everything over. So we have this. Move some up a wee bit. So now we have this. So now turn it around. So this is up at the top right now. And then we're going to reverse fold this big flap here on this crease here. So this is going to, we're going to make this a mountain fold and the same on this side. So we're going to reverse fold it inside. Hey, thanks for joining. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. The one with the blue profile picture, like the V circle. I'm not sure what you're saying, sorry. If possible, could you comment in English? That would help. So, like this. And then just collapse it back up. Hey Donny, thanks for joining. So you should have this. And now we will let me just check. So we're going, well, let me see. Holding it the wrong way, it's this way. So we're holding it this way now, yep. Same way, I just got mixed up there for a second. So now we're going to make a valley fold on this crease. First. <laughs> Someone on Discord say that you and me are child prodigies of origami. <laughs> Who said that? That's pretty funny. Yo, yeah, that just reminds me. Everyone, you need to join the Origami Discord. Link's in the description. Let me just check to make sure it's actually in there this time. Because for some reason it wasn't. I don't look at these comments. Yep, Discord link is in the description. I forgot to update the WhatsApp group. Trapped. I used the wrong link for the WhatsApp group. Right, so like this. So we're going to make the valley fold on this crease. It's not going to lie flat. And then we're going to basically make... We don't have this valley fold here yet. But we're going to take this point. Uh, which point is it? Which point let me see? This point right here and fold it up to this point here, right at the top. So let me do it first and then I'll unfold it. 
just to show you. Right, so that's that. I'm going to unfold it again and then do it slowly so you see what I mean. So I'm going to go back to the start. So, once we make this file fold, we then want to take this point where this line comes down and fold it up to here and then when you do that, this valley fold will take place now I'm trying to get a good angle and we've got a wee bit more did you, what, you can band on it? what happened? how much, di how much discord was it? the origami one? Or a different one. So once you make that, fold up. And then you're going to make a line from here to this crease. It's all going to lie naturally flat when you do it. And then just fold up. So you should have this. And then we're going to turn it around and do the exact same on this side. So again, make the valley fold on this crease. Make sure this is all fully valid voltage up. And then basically you've got this big crease line here. I'm going to put this point up to the very point up here. So I'm going to do it first and then I'll show you again. I'll fix that tail in a second. A wee bit's not flattened. So like that. Put out the camera here. So let me just unfold it again. So we had this. We make the valley fold. And then we make the mountain fold on this side, which we've already got. So we need to push in this paper here. And then it will naturally lie flat. So 
Let me just fix this speed part. There. So we should have this now. Now flip it back over. And we will let me see what we need to do. Yep, so we'll open up these layers like this. So back to this position. We'll just make the valley fold straight down. I will naturally lie flat. So let me try and get this bit done. So like that. So we're just basically bringing over half the layers to the left. And then make sure we crease it properly. That does need to take them over a little bit more. And fold it all back. So now we've got this valley fold. So what does it tell us to do? Right. Now we're going to make a valley fold from this point of where this crease we just made hits the bottom and this line and straight across. We're going to make it straight across till it hits here. But we would do it on the flap inside. So we do it on this flap here. This one here. Let me just double check. Yep, so I'm going to do it first. And then I'll show you. So like that. So we just fold it up and make the valley fold and then bring it back down. So this is step 58, tell me to do. You find 59. Unusual sink. Right. Oh, yeah, that's what we do. I'll just be a few minutes just to figure out this step.
such a confusing step. And let me just see what it's telling me to do. Alright, so we're changing the position. few moments again I need to make sure I get this right before I show you. Yep, that's it. Again I'll do it first and then I'll put it back in place. No, oh, that's it. I believe that's it. So for those that have just joined, I'm just doing this step first and then I'm going to unfold it all and then show you again how to do it properly. I really don't want to get stuck on a live stream. This happened before. Right, that is it there. Right, so we've got it now. I'm going to unfold it all. Yeah, how did it look before? Yeah, it does not fold. So let me show you exactly how to do this step. So once we've made this valley fold, we're going to open it up and open up here as well. And then as you see here, we've got a mountain fold or a crease here goes down to the center and a crease here that goes all the way down to the center. I'm going to open it and then push in this part in between those two creases like that and then we're going to just pull this mountain fold make this mountain fold go straight up And then it's just a matter of taking your time and pushing in this part so it lies flat. When you do it right, everything will lie naturally flat. You're using existing creases here to fold it back up. Like so. So sh then you should have this. It's actually quite a confusing step. So that's that's what you should have. Right, 
right, fifteen million. So we're going to repeat that on the other side. So again, turn it around. We're going to fold everything in half. Fold half the layers over. And zoom back down now. Then fold it back over. And then we make the valley fold from this point straight down to here on the layer below. And then fold it back down and now we're going to do the sink again so fold it and open it up and we make this crease the mountain fold and this one the mountain fold So we have this, and now we make the mountain fold all the way up on this crease. So just push in up from the bottom. And I can push this part back inside. So, like that, and then we're just going to collapse it back together. Easier to do from this side. This paper is so tricky to reverse fold. like that, finally. And then just need to readjust these creases. There, so hopefully you managed that all right. It was a quite a tricky step, but you should have this now. So 
let me see what is next. Fold it in this position. So now we're going to make, we're going to fold over this layer, this top layer. Make this crease the mountain fold. And then from here up to the top is a mountain fold as well. So just like that, move them back up. And then we're going to make, let me see. Yep. So we're going to make a mountain fold on this layer, on the layer underneath and a valley fold straight up. So this edge lines up with this edge. So just fold up like that. The Looper one's done for about two seconds. So let's find it's through there anyway. So I think it tells me to go back to number. Right, so we fold back to here. Oh, right there, I'm not putting me on. Head back. I just want to feel. So now we make a mountain fold on this crease and fold the paper behind this layer. Let me just double check to make sure it's right. But not behind that layer actually. So, like that. We wear like that. Now it's just fold it up. So let me see what time we do next. So again we remake this swivel fold. 
So again, the mountain fold will make this first. Then that pushes up into here. And then we just collapse that as normal. Like that. And now we're going to squash fold this flap here. So fold over the top layer first. And then just squash fold it. Like so. And then we're going to turn it around and then just do petal fold on each side. So edge to edge. And then the same on this side. And then just reverse fold inside. Like that. So let me see what it says next. So we fold this flap back over and now we make let me see a valley fold. Now let me just check. Yep, so we make a valley fold that lines up with this crease, this edge right here. Right here. Like that. Oh, what happened to this edge? Paper reversed itself. God damn paper, what are you doing to me? Right, so like that. And then let me see what it says next. Yeah, so make it lie naturally flat. So we just squash this part. Is it? See where it is. And 
here. That's it. So we need to make the mountain fold on this crease line here. There. Like that. So now we're going to unwrap this layer, so just open up and then push out and then make the mountain fold on this crease. And then fold it back over. So like that. Now let me just check. Hmm. Can't tell what it's trying to tell me to do. I'm pretty sure that's right. I've done everything on it. I mean, the barrier looks the exact same. Yeah, that looks right. Yeah, so we'll go with this. So now we need to flip the paper around and repeat everything on this side. So let me zoom back out. So let's see if I can do it by memory. So we're going to make mountain fold again. We've already got it, so it's easy. Then make the mountain fold from here up to this edge. And then we're going to make mountain fold on this crease, but on the layer underneath. Or is it for both? And then just fold this edge to line up with this edge here. This paper keeps moving out of place. So like that. And what else did it tell me to do? I 
Oh yeah, food, squash food, but not yet. Uh, I forgot what I told you, let me check. So I've done that. Yes, I'll go back. Go back to this, and then yeah, then I make the mountain fold. Yep, so make mountain fold here. That's where it was. It's actually so tricky to do this live. It really is. I'll probably pick an easier model for the next live one or two. definitely help. So once we've got this, we remake these creases so we fold this paper back over and then fold this part up. Try to hold it on place first before I continue. Right, so now we fold over this flap and then squash fold this one here. And then just petal fold these edges. And then the same here. And then fold it all back over. Now let me just see what how is it this way? So up and it's down. So we're going to pull these layers down and make the valley fold.
to line up with this edge underneath. And then make the mountain fold on this crease here to flatten it. And then we're just going to unsync this part. So open up, push out, and then make the mountain fold. And then close back up. I'm not sure what that tells me to do. Let me see. 69, don't need that page anymore. There is step 70. So I've unsunk it and it tells me to pull something. No, I'm not sure what that tells me to do. Oh, I think we just need to do that, is it? Yep. Let me just double check. In fact, I'll leave it like that then now. In fact, no, I won't actually. I'm not sure if this is right, I'll find it later on. So we had that. Now we're going to open up and then make the mountain fold on the crease halfway in the centre to get that. And fold it back up. So I'm sure that's correct. Just do it on this side as well. Right, so that's that done. Now, now take this edge so we've got this square here, this edge, and fold it down to this point to make the diagonal straight through. I'll do the top there first so I get it accurate. Yeah, it's only through the top layers, it's not all the way down. And then we're going to turn it like this, and then fold this edge to this edge, and then make the crease from this point straight up to this point. Then unfold it. Let me see what it says next. 
Right, so do the same on the other side than now, so it makes it easier. Because if we do the next steps, it's going to be more. The thickness is going to be different with the sinks, so it'll be harder to get it the same. Just unfold it and then go back to the side. So now we're going to do a closed sink on this layer through all the layers. I'm going to keep it closed. So open it up. And it doesn't tell me. Yep, so open it right up. We have this. And then just make the mountain fold on this crease we've just made the diagonal. And keep these layers together. Next time I do a live stream, I'm going to not use the paper I'll actually use to make the model but I'll make I'll use the craft paper so that I can do everything much easier this paper is tricky to work with There. So I've just done the close sink on this part. Now what does it tell me to repeat that on the other side? I'm guessing 82. Let's find 83. So we repeat that on the other side, so turn it around and then do the close sink again. So open up these layers and push in this point first. So there we go, two close sinks done.
So we bring out this inside layer. So just pull out this layer. I'm just going to reverse fold it out. Don't get it, step 84. What's that trying to tell me to do? Hmm. Well, what's step, I'm trying to think of step 84. What's that tell me to do? I don't want to get stuck when I'm on live. Rubbish. Yeah, I don't think step 84 is telling me to do anything really. I've already, I've already got the mountain folds here. Don't do that. Doesn't look right. These actually stay down. Bear with me a few minutes, I'm trying to figure out this step. The 84 is, doesn't tell me to do anything. Right, anyway, so we. Make, I'm going to reverse fold through all the layers on this crease here. So it was when we first done the, the crease to crease. So I'm going to reverse fold through the layers like that. It's going to be quite tricky because it's going to be thick here. And when you do it, let me see. This edge lines up with this edge. So I'll actually crease this part. Right, so let's open up. And then make the mountain fold, which is the diag the full diagonal, probably easier this side. It's going to be really thick here. Let me go back. Are these layers supposed to be up. Yep. Mm. 
I'm just double checking to make sure they're correct. Yeah, they're supposed to stay up. They can't change. Oh, I didn't realise they... I thought the comments had frozen my channel. Um, I didn't realise I got so much more. Hey uh, hi, hi everyone, hey Akko, hey Mike. Hey Alexander, hey Branko. Yo, sorry for not reading the comments, I didn't realise there was new comments appearing. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Right, so let me see. So I think I need to pull out these models, or these layers here. I feel so bad for not reading the comments. Ah, oh, such an idiot. Let me just start from the top one. Yo. Oh, that was half an hour ago. Donny, comment when you when are you streaming season eight? I'm going to try and stream tonight, Donny. Uh, Donny, if you're still watching, I'm going to try and stream tonight. If you're able to play, in fact, you just said got to go by, so I'll try and stream tonight. Uh, well, hey, Akko. I think I said that. I'm not sure what happened to the end of that tool. This tool? You mean this one? Um, nothing's happened to it yet. Or oh, the other end? You mean? So there's two, two there's two, two different parts to it, but I don't I don't need the other one. So let me just check to make sure I pull the, these layers out. And yeah, that's correct. Oh, I, I feel like such an idiot because. The last time, I know Mike, <laughs> I thought you, you were just immersed, confused, didn't want distraction. Uh, I feel so annoyed now. Um, yeah, because the comments didn't continue. Um, let me see. Do you know when I started? Yeah, about an hour ago. Uh, and yeah, 15.24. I forgot to scroll down. I didn't realise. No one was commenting. Oh, I feel like such an idiot. God damn it. <laughs> That's rubbish. I'll make sure it doesn't happen in the next stream. It's going to be quite tricky to get this bit flat. Hmm. That's definitely right. So everything was correct beforehand. Or maybe I need to do it with all these. I hate when the diagram doesn't fully tell you what to say. Hmm. 
Yes, these pleats that still need to stay in place. These stay in, these stay in place. These come out. Right, so let's try and get this back to folding flat. So that side folds flat. Let me just check. Oh, I think I've got it. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was a stressful situation. What is everyone saying? Right now, uh, now we have some complex stuff to uh, the real origami snob for. Uh, we've just dismissed. Yeah, definitely. Plus, use simple models to get to. I've never, I've never actually wet folded before, so shocking as it sounds. I've never done that yet. So I should have this. Hopefully you've, you managed to understand what I've just done. Yeah, next time Grant pick an easier model to do a tutorial for. Make things so much easier. Right, so that's actually a confusing step. And with the diagrams that don't that aren't in English. So it's hard to understand what it's trying to tell you what to do. So let me just see what's next. It tells me to pull these layers. Hmm. I feel I'm going to be stuck again. Hold it in the position it tells me to. It's actually going to be a really good size model when you see it all. Yeah, that's Branko. That's the Branko. So let me just. What's it tell me to do here? Pull out these layers from the looks of it. I cannot believe someone of your talents hasn't. I get the anxiety attack just looking at the region CP. <laughs> I am no WF expert and was intimidated, but it's a whole new world that opens up, man. Yes, definitely. When you're able to fold from crease patterns and learn how to do them, the amount of models you can make are endless. Because when I started, I seen all these models that I would love to make. But when you find out that there's only crease patterns for them or no diagrams or instructions, and I knew I'd never I'd never be able to make them. But now that I can I can fold crease patterns, I've got a much better chance of doing it. Yeah, so I need to pull out these layers.
trying to get this without it ripping. And then we just check to make sure this is right. Oh, wet phone. Oh, sorry, apologies. I've never done a wet phone, so I really wouldn't know. But yeah, probably works on easier models or models that are more 3D to shape in a way, if that makes sense. Yeah, this is right. I need to fix these layers first. So we basically just pulled out that paper, those pleats. That was a tricky step. It's hard to tell from the diagrams as well, but it tells you what to do. I mean, it could have been clearer. And then you just flip them over to this side. There we go, that's what the diagram looks like. So, like that. It would be much better if the paper wasn't so difficult to work with. So we're going to do the same, let me just check on the other side. 88 to 91. Yep. So flip it around. And then just pull the layers apart. There. Do you mean this tool, Tim? I know I mentioned it earlier, but I th the tip here. Yeah, if you let me know if it's this tool you mean. But if it is, then all the tools that I got, they, they come in different sized heads. So obviously, I didn't need this one, so I just took it off. They come off easily. So it's just like a wee attachment for it. Yeah, I've got more here. Uh, yeah, I've got like, some here. Obviously they're different sizes and shapes, so I don't need all of these types. They're useless to me. But this one is not.
Now we're going to fold these back over. So this side, this side is much neater than the other side. That always happens when every time I do, you do them folds on both sides. One side tends to be better than the other, or worse, in a way. Yeah, their cake, their cake decorating tools, mate. I've got them online. Just go on Amazon or, or eBay and search like decorating tools, and then that's the ones I saw. Because when I was looking at all the pictures, I was trying to find one that had a wee tip like this. So they're the ones I went for. Got like six packets of them, so I've got plenty in case I'll lose any. Right, so that is that done. Let's continue. Eight, 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 nine. Oh, I've gone back the way. So now we make a valley fold between these two distances. So we take this point. Zoom up a bit. So we take this point and fold it up to this point here. And that should make a crease halfway, but I'm going to make the crease here first. And then I can judge it after it, because I know this is right. So I'm just double checked. Did you do you make cake with the rest? No, I actually don't. They just get kept in a drawer. I don't use them for anything else, other than origami. <laughs> yeah, I make my own tools from paper that I use to make cake. That's the way to go. So I'm gonna see fold it up. Yeah, I'll do the same on this side as well. So I'm going to make this crease first. Then what's it tell me to do? Mountain fold. I need to find number 95. So I'll make this a mountain fold and then yep, that's it. So we're going to make a mountain fold on this part and then the valley fold on this part and between these two distances is the valley fold. Actually I could just do that here. You can just start it off. Pardon me. And then we use this valley fold. So before I fill the flat on that one, just check. I need to line this up with this edge. No, it's not triple tissue, it is double Wenzel rice paper. Because I was unsure of how the how the paper would feel and react when I used spray glue to combine them. So I was just curious to see how the effect would get. 
how is your kitty? I have two main coons and have to stop them from nibbling my models. Yeah, Loper is doing amazing. He really is. He is basically back to normal now. We've been letting him outside for the past month, month and a half. I was going to try and do, try and do a video of Han taking his first steps outside, but that proved to be difficult. He did sneak out a few times. We were all trying to be careful. So let me just see if this is right. Hold it upside down. Help if I hold it up to get a diagram told me to. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I used MC to get the, the colours and both the, the sheets because the, the, this paper is originally white. So I'll wet it all and then I use bleeding tissue to get the dye into the paper. So I did a mixture of greens for this and then straight yellow for this side. Hey Om, thanks for joining. So that's how I got these effects, though they're much better when I take pictures of them. And then I, I use spray glue to combine them. So it gives a really nice soft texture. It's hard to see the quality on the tablet because the tablet's rubbish for streaming. You need to get a better one. Right, so let me see what it says. Yep, so I just need to bring out this layer of paper. No, mine doesn't actually do it, no. I mean, I've got, mod I've got models all over the surfaces in my house, so he tends to jump up and walk around them. He's actually very, um, very polite in that way. Whereas, like, I've got glass upstairs with paper drying right now. And when he jumps up, when he comes out in my room, he's always, he always walks around the glass to jump up on the window ledge. And then when he jumps down, he jumps not on the glass, but on the floor next to it. He's smart in a way. But whereas Penny, the other cat, he he walks all over the glass. He'll sit on my paper, he'll chew models, he'll, he's the exact opposite of Looper. He's got bad manners, in a way. It's too funny though. Because one time I left paper lying on my bed. I forgot to close the door. When I came back, Penny was sitting right in the middle of it. He was sleeping on it. So, that was that sheet ruined. But yeah, Loper is, he's, he's good, he's, he's well mannered. So we fold this part down. And then, yeah, that's right. He taught me everything I know. I, know. I mean, He's sitting just in front of the camera. Obviously, you can't see him because he's out of frame. So he's telling me what to do. Then I just do it while I'm streaming or recording. That's how I make everything. Right, so I need to... Valley fold this part behind. So I've done that, I'll make the mountain fold. Last knot of that crease is up. Yeah, exactly. I'm copying him. Let me just see if this is right. Yeah, 
Oh, that's right. No, for some reason I've got extra paper here. Don't know why. Oh, I'm missing the part that's supposed to take up. That's why. Because when I folded this, when I when I made this valley fold, I realised I've got this bit of paper extra. So I need to make sure this is up. And then we just reverse fold this inside. Parents want to get wrapped in paper presents with the cat, but prepping paper is solid for the job in the house, especially with the long hair. Change clothes beforehand. Yeah, like when I've got tissue paper on the floor, I've Looper has a, ten a tendency to uh, like fall on it, like lie on it, and start rolling about and scratching it in a way. He's a wee nuisance when it comes to it. Uh, I'm folding the chameleon. It's in the thumbnail if you want to exit back out the stream. You can see the thumbnail on the video. Yeah, I don't have a picture on there. Let me see. I don't think I've got a picture of it on my phone. No, but it's in the thumbnail if you want to check it out. A chameleon. Where was it? So that's that done. Fold it over and then make that valley fold and line up the bottom. Oh, a joke. <laughs> My joke was probably executed. No, I'm sorry. Or I'm just too stupid to understand. Right. Fold it up. Now it says repeat 95 to 97. Oh yes, I need to bring out this layer again. Bring this back down. Oh yeah, cat tissue paper. If you see, if you see in the video, that's how Looper reacts when I've got tissue lying about. Then he just wants to destroy everything I have. like that, fold that down, fold this up, and then tuck this part inside. I just want to get to making the eyes, that's probably the most fun part from the looks of the diagrams. So it's actually going to be a quite a big chameleon. Going to be a really nice size model. So I've done. Let me see. Ninety five. What on my head? Fold up. Done that. Yep. So we're looking good. Now one hundred and two. Yep. So we're going to let me see. Yep, so we're going to make a valley fold, take this edge, 
and fold it onto this edge. And we're going to, in fact, I forgot to reverse fold this part. So this inside part, we're going to push it right out. Like so. Like that. And then we're going to take this edge and fold it onto this edge. And we're going to squash this part. So before I do that, let me just see what it says. Is it that? No, it's not that. Yeah, so it's this. Uh, what do you mean? Is the paper dissolving or is the colour coming out? Oh, like when you use bleeding tissue? Uh, the colour comes out, if, if that's what you mean. Like if I use red bleeding tissue and, and I wet that, the red will come out. And then the red, the paper will start to go like a white pinkish colour. So it's just extracting the colour from the paper. Yeah, that's right. So we're going to then take... So we're going to make, we're going to squash this part, this part here, and put this mountain fold to line up with this crease here. So let's sink this first, so I've got the crease that I need. And then let me zoom in. And then we're just going to fold it down flat. Um, make sure that's what to do first. Yep. Oh, that's not folding flat. That's why. So like that. So we're we so we're like this to start with. Let's zoom out a wee bit. If you can hear that like screeching in the background, that's Looper. He's sitting on the chair just in front of me, getting comfortable. I'll show you him before I finish the stream. So we folded that down. Folded that over. And then folded this right down. So we had that. And then what does step 104 tell me? Yep, so we fold, let me see, this edge onto the bottom crease. Uh, what's the best way to do this?
Hey Ben, welcome back. Um, I apologise if I didn't read your. If you jo if, if you didn't join. Oh, let me start again. Apologise if you joined earlier and I didn't read your comment. I didn't realise I was getting new comments, so I, I didn't reply to any of them. But thanks for joining again, if you did. We're still folding away. Uh, how many was it actually folding? I'm not too sure. There was quite a few when I started. No, I mean, in the first part, there was quite a lot. So I got a lot of progress pics on Instagram. So. But then I did share the diagrams, so. Maybe they finished it that way. Alright, you just. Uh, hey Mark, thanks for joining back. If you did, uh, no, just join now. Just go home from work about five minutes ago. <laughs> awesome. But it was one of those things that I thought the comments had frozen, so I didn't read or try to scroll down, but then I just noticed about half an hour. So I was basically phoned for an hour, not talking. When I was getting comments, I feel so bad. I really do. But yeah, hundred four, nine hundred five. Right, so we open sync this part. I believe it's closed there. Let me just check. No, open. Open all the way. Oh, try zoom out. Is that enough? Yep. No fact. Maybe it's not. Because if I do that, then it creates the angled crease. Uh, let me just see. No, it's, cl it's closed here, I believe. Join your org group on Instagram and new it from Abinash. Yeah, you can join, but uh, we're full at the moment basically, and I don't want to create any more new groups because it's taking too much time to keep up with six groups, which is annoying. But when the space clears up, I'll I'll add you in. My idea was to make a group full of folders. But when I, f when I started that on Instagram, I realised they could only hold 15 people and I had 100 requests, so I had to make lots of different groups. And then they updated it, they updated the groups so they could include 30, so I had to combine a lot of them. So we're down to 6. 6 groups of 30s. In fact, when you see open sync repeat steps, X. I know, it's so annoying. these parts. It's the worst type of steps you can get. Like when you do steps and then it says repeat steps. One to three hundred on the other side. So how does that look? Yep, that's fine. You'd better make it on Facebook or the Messenger. Um, I do have a WhatsApp group as well that you can join if you want. Uh, the links in the, the fact that's not. I posted the wrong link. The wrong link in the description. It doesn't work when you click on it. But I've got a WhatsApp group as well, and there's a there's a Discord link in the description. That a lot of people run. And use. 
So you're more than welcome to join one of those for the time being. Um, let me see, it's going to tell me to do all this on the other side, isn't it? So now we need to unsync. So that's after that sync's done. We just need to unsync this layer right here, under here. So we need to open up. Yeah, I could do that, Ben, but not everyone is... I know everyone's active in them, but not active daily. So I don't, I don't want to remove people that should be there. out as a square so it needs to do much more I hate these type of steps I really do Self pick an easier model to stream next time to live stream that would help so much right so there could be better but I'll fix it later on that's good for now when are you going to post the video about the new paper prices um I've still I, I can do it tomorrow I need to make it though it's, it's only going to be a, a wee quick video. Anyway, though I have posted the prices everywhere, but it's just the uh, actual video I need to do. Or is it prizes? I'm not sure which one you mean. Do you mean prices or prizes? Um, so, let me see first. Yeah, I need to repeat that on this side. I hate these steps. Are you going to finish this model? In fact, are you going to have an exhibition at the Origami USA? Yep, I certainly am. Well, when I know 100% that I'm going to be going, I'm going to take every single model I can, even Ryujin, set it all up. Once all that's done, once I've got all the footage I need for all that, then I'll start giving all those models away. So I, I just want to show them all there first and then I'll be firing out the giveaways for all the models. That's my plan. That's why I've not uploaded too many giveaways yet. Oh no. Did I miss a step? Uh, not raging giveaway, sadly. I'll, I'll, I'll never give that away. If I, if I ever make a second one, then I'll probably give that one away, but... The time it takes to make it, and the effort, and just everything in general is just... No, I can't. It's too close to my heart. Oh, I'm missing something, aren't I? Oh yeah, I need to. I need to spread these things first. I forgot about that. Um, 
uh, how much the paper cost. I mean, so the single tissue treated with MC glue is four pounds, and the double is six pounds. All treated with MC. So basically, the paper I make is the standard you'll be getting. Oh, and I need to go pack. I forgot what to do. Oh yeah, so I need to reverse fold this part. I forgot about it. Uh, shipping would be about ten to twelve pounds. It's because of the shipping tubes. It's just based on the weight of the the package and full. Also, the heavier the item, the more it cost. I'd give that away, I'd have unsubbed a true fold lover would part with it, especially the first time completed. Yeah, the Ryujin is the model I would never give away, I would never sell, even if someone offered me a lot of money for it, I would never sell it. Just the time it took to make it, the effort, the process of making the paper, recording it, editing the videos, everything is not worth it. So, I put so much blood, sweat and tears into that model to get it the way it is. So I would never give that away. You're definitely right, mate. Uh, what do I do again now? Forgot what to do. I need to, oh yeah, I need to make... I need to spread this part. In fact, I'll fold this first. No, that didn't help at all. So, what do you think I should do for my next giveaway? If everyone's got ideas. I've not thought about it too much. I could do paper or I could do model. A model. Or I could do both. Or I could pre I could I could pre case a model for any model you want or something along those lines of making a model. Are you going to finish the model and the live stream? I'm going to try. I don't know how long I've been streaming for. Two hours, five minutes. Yeah, I'll definitely try. Probably another 50 steps, but it shouldn't be much. So I'll try and do them quick, but still show you how to do it. So let me see. Now it's the sink. Yeah, if anyone's wondering about the Ryujin, there's a Ryujin Discord that I can get you the invite for if you want that the creator has made a full tutorial on pre casing and helpful diagram. Oh, he's, he made the full uh, PDF on how to collapse it and shape it. So if you want that, just let me know. I'll get you the invite. It's a re really nice guy. I made it. So a close sink here. I'm 
actually quite hungry as well, so I don't know if I'll be, I'll be able to finish this on stream. Yeah, I don't think I'll get it done on this stream. Um, are you going to do a 15k sub giveaway? Um, I hadn't thought about it, but I could. I haven't really planned the next giveaway, honestly. I've not thought about it too much. Or whether I should do something massive because it, it'll be the first one of 2019. Or just keep it um, like more simple. And build up the, the hypeness for each one. Oh, missed a step. Yeah, then I need to pull out this layer of paper. Yeah, I'll probably, once I stop, I'll just finish it off stream. Probably the best thing to do. some of the skeleton models by Bodo. I've not planned that yet but I definitely want to. He's such a, an amazing designer and it's crazy how I just don't understand the process of how people can think up these crease patterns and then just make them. Yeah I definitely want to make one of them at some point. Oh, this doesn't look great. I need to bring this paper down more. That's about right. Now I'll correct that once I stop streaming. Right, so then I just need to close sync. I'm definitely going to stop after this. I'll, pro I'll probably stream the rest in the next few days. Get the last bit done. So I'm actually starting to get quite hungry.
and then it's a close sink. In fact, I'll probably finish it off in an actual video for a change. seen Taro's Girl Origami? Which one's that? Don't think I have. Right, so that's where we got them now. And then we just finally fold these down. Which I'll correct these layers off stream. Anyway, so I'm going to stop the stream now. This is where we've got so far, so there's not much more to do actually. Let me see. Probably another 40 steps. 158. And we're on um, 113. So basically, yeah, 52 steps. And mostly on the feet and the head. So I'll probably finish off the actual model in a video for a change. And then I'll show you the final result. So, let me show you Loper for a wee second before I stop. Getting comfortable. See, his fur is really starting to grow back. Still a wee bit to go. You can still see like the height difference of him when he's moving about, but he's clear himself. Hey, it's dirty. Let me put dirty. You dirty lopper. Lopper, say hi. Say hi, everyone, lopper. Can I see the green turtle again, please? Uh, I can't do now, but I can show you on, on, on Instagram. Let's take the pictures. Right, anyway, everyone, thank you so much for joining, and I do apologise if I didn't read your comments earlier. I was, I didn't realise there was new comments appearing. So, I do apologise about that. That won't happen again. Looper. Hey. Be sleepy cat. <laughs>